you supply. Underneath this floor, a nuclear reaction is taking place. This reaction is very powerful and potentially dangerous, which is why it has to be safely enclosed beneath several meters of concrete. This is what's in the heart of the nuclear reactor. It's what we call a, a fuel element. And inside each one of these elements, there's 36 fuel pins, and inside each one of those pins is over 60 of these uranium oxide pellets. And inside those pellets is where the fission is taking place, generating the heat. Uh, each one of these uh, elements is part of a stack of seven uh, fuel elements, which is what we call a stringer. And there's 408 of those stringers uh, in each one of the reactor cores at Dungeon SB. As we've seen, the core of a nuclear reactor contains lots of fuel rods. Inside the rods, of pellets made of uranium. Uranium atoms have a special property. They can be made to split by firing neutrons at them. When a uranium atom absorbs a neutron, it splits up, releasing more neutrons and a huge amount of energy. This is known as nuclear fission. The neutrons released by the split atom go on to release more neutrons and more energy. This is known as a nuclear chain reaction and can be dangerous if not controlled. The energy released from the nuclear fission makes the fuel rods very hot. The amount of heat released by the uranium pellets can be controlled by boron control rods in the reactor. They absorb the neutrons released when the uranium atoms split. Lowering the control rods into the fuel can slow down or even stop the nuclear chain reaction. The heat from the fuel rods is used to turn water into steam, which is then used to drive fans which generate electricity just like any other power plant. People have concerns about nuclear power stations for two reasons. Firstly, if the reaction is not managed properly, it could get out of control with potentially catastrophic consequences. The poor design and management of the Chernobyl nuclear power station caused a steam explosion and fire that released massive amounts of radiation into the atmosphere, resulting in the evacuation and resettlement of over 336,000 people. Secondly, the waste products from nuclear fission are radioactive and can remain dangerous for hundreds and, in some cases, thousands of years. Nuclear waste is divided into low, medium and high-level waste, depending on the amount of radioactivity it produces. There are low levels of radioactivity around us. Atoms are radioactive when their nuclei are unstable. In order to become stable, they need to lose energy. They do this by emitting nuclear radiation in the form of alpha, beta, or gamma radiations. Nuclear radiation can be dangerous because it can damage the DNA in our cells. Depending on the type and amount of radiation our cells are exposed to, this can lead to health problems ranging from nausea to cancer. This is why great care is taken in storing nuclear waste and making sure none of it reaches our environment. Radioactive waste remains lethal for hundreds of thousands of years and we have no idea what we're going to do to deal with it. We, at the moment, it's stored on site, it's cooled and it costs the taxpayer billions of pounds to sort out. In the long term, we have no idea what we're going to do with it. So people might say, well, we'll bury it in a hole underground. There's nowhere in the world where anyone's ever managed to do this. So we're hoping that someone might come up with a brainwave at some point in the future. There are things that physicists are working on at the moment. There are ways of of firing protons into nuclear waste, basically, and, and um, making it safe almost immediately. And that will come in the future. It's, it's not there right now, but, you know, people are working on these things. As a uh, waste product, nuclear reactors make plutonium, which is the prime ingredient for making nuclear weapons. And in this day and age of heightened terrorism and all these security risks, the last thing we should be doing is spreading this sort of material around the world. This is the reason why things like Sellafield in the UK should not be shut down because we, we deal with, with uh, nuclear waste and we deal with it responsibly. And there's only a, a small handful of reprocessing plants in the world and the UK has two of them, actually. 